Buenos Dias Gunners Collective. Back at it, you already know. Like a motherfucking like a motherfucking smack at it. Orale, as you can tell by that thumbnail right there. Yes, indeedy. I'm about to write some graffiti on the bus. We're gonna talk about it, man. Um, how I became disillusioned, disenchanted. Fuck this, you know what I mean? You know, there comes times in your life when you're like in a menudo style of direct fashion. I, I can't do this shit no more, see? So I'm just I'm tired of being on food stamps. I gotta go to work. Or I can't fuck, I can never win a Mike Tyson's punch out. Mike Tyson hit me con un pinche uppercut tiger and it's done, right? There's a lot of times in life where you come across stumbling blocks. You hit that, and it's ugly, right? At the end of the day, there's no wizard behind the curtain. There's some fucking vato getting a mammon. You know what I mean? It's just ugly. But at the end of the day, you still strive and you still continue to do what you do, even though you're disillusioned because, you know, it's the right thing. It's something you're dedicated to. It's the cause, the effect, the you know what it is, right? And that's just how it'd be like sometimes, you know? To what degree? I, I can't call it like an alcoholic, but I know that you continue to push, pull, and strive because that's how you were taught and laced up and educated, indoctrinated, and all of them good big words that people use so that way that you're instilled with that go get them, right? I need me a go get them, and in that fashion. Um, so how I became disillusioned with the cause, with the northern cause, with the norte, right? Um, I didn't walk away. Yeah, yeah. Didn't fake no heart attack. Couldn't put the Mac on it. Didn't do anything that I couldn't do. Didn't turn my back on it, right? Didn't do none of that. What I did was just peeped game. Kept my fucking ears and my eyes open and just watched what was going on around me. Gotta stay aware. I'm always aware. So I was scared. You think you could trick me? You can't trick me through the phone. No. Mm -mm. You know who I'm talking to, right? I don't get down like that. So um, I became disenchanted with the movement, right? That doesn't mean that I don't think it's a great one. Or that doesn't mean that I think uh, everything ain't what is cracked up to be Charlie, man. Hey, in hindsight, I see that it just was not for me. The timing was there. That it was written all over its face. You don't have to say your word. It was written there. Written in stone. That it was no longer for me. Or I was no longer for it. That's just the way it goes, right? Because um, I remember... I remember a lot of things were happening, man. I was noticing that DOs were getting deeper. People were falling off the wayside. More people were getting whacked. You know, it didn't seem like at that time that we were against the adversary or the enemy guard, traditionally who we were supposed to fucking be going up against. It seemed like we were against ourselves. So we were tearing ourselves down. Um, Every little step you take, right? Motherfuckers will be there with the pedazo. That's just how it was. Don't roll your mattress up tight enough. Get them, right? Um, sit, miss a line movement on accident. Got them, right? Any little thing. The child, you don't like your salad? God, I'm about to slap the shit out of you. Look at me for slapping my child. Because I just got to give the cause and effect. I use, hey, I like to use props. Anyways, it's just real, you know? Um, and seeing these things from a young age, being a northerner, being a Norteño man, and having so much love and pride for my people, I started to become disillusioned in the game. Like, damn, you know, we're fucking tearing our own soldados down. We're hurting our own people. And it had nothing to do with the cause. It had nothing to do with the Norte and what that stood for. It had more to do with individuals. Individualism. People that only cared about themselves. You know what I mean? Fuck you. I say, I'm only about me. That's good. What about me? Fuck you. Pay me. Right? But hey, so that's good. I ain't even getting no money on your books. Fuck you. Pay me. Right? But what am I supposed to do? Go on and the other? <laughs> Listen. Fuck you. Pay me. Right? People didn't care. In the Menudo style, they needed that feria, they needed that issue, and everything else was water under Conumpichi Bridge. You know what I mean? Like the bridge that Messi Mark smoking crack under in Richmond. That's just, just how it was. Okay, they didn't care. So, what you need to understand was I started to notice this. I started to see a, a, a lot of things that I just didn't agree with, and I was never in a position to voice, you know, you gotta be, you're just part, hey, you're just a piece of the puzzle. Listen. You're just one of them stones, one of them cobblestones. You can't voice your opinion uh, because you're going to yell and it's not going to be heard, right? That's just how it is. At the end of the day, being part of a gang, being part of any type of group, not necessarily just gangs, anything. You think in, if you're in the fucking army that the sergeant's going to like, hear what you got to say? Yeah, what if, hey, so let's get, where I come from, there's nothing but steers and queers. And you don't look like, much look like a steer, do you? Get out of here, right? They don't care. You're going to listen to whoever's put in that position, man, to lead the charge, and that's it. 
But Sasuke, I don't think, I don't think that's right. It is now. I mean, yeah, it is, I guess, right? So okay. after thinking about it, menudo, right? That's just how it be. So um, I started to become disenfranchised, disillusioned. I started to say, you know what, nah, something ain't right here. I'm gonna tell you a story, man. I'm in Susanville, three yard, lasting, sitting in the building, man, with my celly. And I remember we're kicking back and he was a good youngster. He was a good youngster out of Mountain View. Um, and I'm not gonna put his name out there, Sadiq, because you know what I mean? I don't, to what degree of fucking, what he's doing right now, I can't call it like an alcoholic, but I do know that um, he became my celly. We were just chilling in there. And you become taitas with certain people. And what the word taita means, right, is very close homeboy. You know, your road dog. That one. The motherfucker you know got your back and you got his back. Now, proper fucking prison etiquette says that whenever you get a celly, homes, that's your pat. That's your fucking chanty, homes. You rock. If someone comes in that motherfucker, you both are on him like two pit bull terriers. And if motherfucking your celly gets in trouble and, and someone comes in on him, so that's good. you don't ask no questions. You jump where you're mad at. Later on, you guys can deal with that on some one-on-one -on -one basis shit. But for the most part, man, you're going to rock with your celly. And if you really like them, if they're really your homeboy, you consider them like a brother. Well, then that's even the cherry on top. You know what I mean? Because sometimes you get a celly con pedos all night. Hey, that about this jumping pedo, man. He's going to do the baby on acid face. It's not going to be a good in the hood uh, type situation, but you got to deal with it because, hey, guess what? At the end of the day, you don't call no shots here, is it? You know what I mean? I'm still here. That's just how it is. So um, this was my cell. He was a youngster. I remember him coming in, and I felt good because I always loved educating the young homeboys, the strivers, the ones that really wanted it. The ones that were truly dedicated to the cause. The ones that were never disillusioned by fucking propaganda, poison, and bullshit. The ones that were like forever forward in this. The ones that were Norteños through and through. These were the guys that fucking, I was like, you know what? So, okay, I'm going to give you some knowledge you can't get in college. Because see, some guys, you they're, they're untrainable. I say, you could tell them something and the next day they're, they're pissing all over the toilet seat. It's like, hey, homie, what are you doing? I'm taking a Licasso. Hey, why, you know what I mean? Why are you looking at my dick? Now, I ain't looking at your name, but it's like, yeah, there's pee pee. That's not all over the table. You know what I mean? What part of the game is that? Here, watch out. Garra. Clean it up before I got it out of you and fucking throw you up on myself. Go to Pico de Gallo. Right? Motherfuckers ain't tripping. You know? It, it, that's just the way it be like. But at the same time, so I, uh, depends on Latina. So I get at my fucking celly and, uh, and we start chopping it up one day. You know, we start chopping it up and, um, he's asking me a lot of questions, you know, and I'm telling him more stories about the hood and I'm telling him more stories about CYA and I'm telling him stories about my first term in prison and, and just a lot of he said, she said and things that happened. And, you know, we're chopping game. We're bored. It's spent on a tira, but we're bored. You got two, no and there's two Norteños and a partridge in a pear tree, right? We got not too, not too much going on, but there's a whole lot going on, if you understand what I mean. Read between the lines. So we're chopping up game, and uh, and he starts to, like, kind of basically put it out there, like, how it was in his county, how it was in his hood, and how a lot of homeboys were falling off, and it was just getting uglier. It wasn't what he signed up for. It wasn't what he thought it was going to be, man. He noticed a lot of cutthroat shit. He noticed a lot of... Uh, poison being spread. He noticed a lot of uh, drama. And I said, you know, that that's part of the game. Okay, but I had noticed the same shit. I just wasn't saying too much. Because you never want to poison the hempty. You never want to um, get them off their rocker, basically. Vatos and soldados are supposed to be ready for guerra at all times. They're supposed to have my back. You say, have my back. You know what I mean? They're supposed to have your back. On Pahru, they got to have your back, right? And you don't want someone who fucking is second-guessing himself when you hit that yard. Because guess what? That breeds trouble. Right, Vatos will be like, fuck you. And when it comes to the Norteño movement, we need every soldado that we have. I thought, you know what I mean? Every spoken that day, or you're going to be wobbly, 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 wobbly. Uh -huh. And it's going to be ugly. So I'm chopping it up with them. And uh, and he starts to kind of voice that opinion. And, and we get into that deep uh, conversation, that discussion. And I kind of put it out there like, yeah, I know right now, homes it don't look good. It's a rough time. The times are in turmoil for the North. But at the same time, bro, we've done fought out of worse. So let's continue to strive, young homie. And then he's all, he's all happy. And I said, to kill is a cruel necessity. But if one does not kill, how can one conquer? And if one does not conquer, what future is there for our people? And now he's really feeling good. You know what I mean? And then I throw some other shit. And he was like, wait, hold up. That don't rhyme. I was like, what? Oh, well, I want to go to Arby's when I get out. So let's just do good. So anyways, we're just chopping it up. And um, the way our cell is positioned on this yard, it was directly pointed at the cages and the oil, there's two big cages, you know, one on the left side, one on the right side. And these were the yards where people would go out and function. So I remember one day I'm riding a Paloma, a wheel I'm trying to, I think maybe it was an off-tier report. I was writing something to shoot down the line to the homeboys. Um, I was going to pass the wire, see, right? So I'm riding, doing, you know, doing my due diligence, my work. 
And uh, many writers, sucks. I'm just going to tell you straight up. You know what I mean? In that format. You know what I mean? So I'm getting my issue on. And he's looking out. You know, he's a youngster. So he's all over the fucking place. He's hyphy, right? And he's looking out in the sun. He's like, hey, look, look. It's the homeboys. The homeboys are out there working out, right? Big old cage. So I look out. We had this little curtain we made for ourselves. I kind of, uh -huh, right? So I look out and I said, oh, that ain't the homeboys. I closed it. I said, that ain't the homeboys. Those are the degenerates. And I sit down and I keep writing. He goes, what do you mean? I said, those are the dropouts, bro. Those are the ones that are, are in not good standings. He's like, those aren't homeboys, but I see well got birds. I said, I don't give a fuck what you, but I don't care. You know what I mean? You can see a fucking what in the corner, fucking, you know what I mean? With going to be good. That don't mean nothing. Those are the degenerates, bro. I'm telling you. And he was like, wow, they're that deep? I said, shit, that's probably the first fucking, uh, the first movement. They probably got a couple more, right? Um, later on that day, you see three motherfuckers out there in the cold, ice, bro, getting their workout on. I said, those are the homeboys. And he just stopped and looked. And the homeboys are out there <laughs> struggling, right? But striving. Okay? Pocos pero locos, homie. Very few, but many, right? Very few, but respected. This is what it was coming down to, right? Now, some guys see this and they think, fuck, bro. But sounds good. That's bad, right? It is bad. It's upsetting. It's highly upsetting to see your hint fall off. Or to see them being pushed out, which was happening a lot. But at the same time, man, I took pride in them three that I did see out there working out. Still continuing against all odds and against the grain to do their fucking thing. Because they knew what was right. Okay? It was instilled in them to do it no matter what. They weren't quitting, Holmes. They weren't, what the fuck, tapping out like Conor McGregor. They weren't doing none of that. What they were do doing is continuing to do what they does. What they signed up for. Now, the other homeboys that were in that other yard, I call them homeboys too because, you know, I'm neither here nor there. It's not my, my way, uh, reason to speak on what put them there. Um, I didn't see them as bad either because guess what? Just like them three that were out there <laughs> huffing and puffing in that snow, they were getting their issue on too. It was a little bit more relaxed, I said, but they were getting their issue on, right? Um, and I remember the young homie saying, damn, bro, like, what's the difference? What is the difference between them three and them? They're all working out. They're all, you know, me pushing their, push it to the limit. The thun, thun. They're all pushing their bodies to the limit. I said, well, what the issue is, bro, is fucking um, our own people. Us. We're the issue. We're the issue, man. You find yourself caught up in a situation and there's no rest for the weary. You know, for anyone that's ever been in California prisons, I'll tell you this right now. Bar none. No disillusions, no bullshit, right? Straight up, factual, and that. Say, give me, like, going to the pinchy fucking nunchucks from Bruce Lee. You know, if you do it, will he hit you with them? Well, that's on you, right? If you stand there like a bowel. So, I'm going to tell you straight up some real life shit. Being a Northenia was hard, but there's nothing like it, okay? Let me say that again. You know what I mean? Going in gang gang, right? Being a Northenia is hard, but there is nothing like it, right? There's so much hoops you have to go through, so much turmoil, so much uh, 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 hardship, so much struggle, you know, to be a Norteño, to hold your head up high, something to be part of that fucking puzzle that the that the fucking forefathers established back in the days, right? You take a sense of pride in that. It's very hard. It's not easy, you know. It's like a big old pussy just waiting to be fucked, and it's different. People will do bad things to you and you know that's what's going on. But you continue to push because it's solidarity, it's, it's solidarity, it's canalismo, it's clecha, it's education. The maestros are doing their things. The soldados are doing their things. The MP is right here. Homes, the mesa is over here doing what they do because that's, great. that's none of your business, right? And then, of course, you got the COC uh, uh, making sure and the, and the shit goes round and round. And every little piece of the puzzle while incarcerated and being in Orteño is part of that puzzle, man, that you can never get anywhere else, right? And that is hard. It's hard because, man, if you fuck up one time, just one time, whack him, right? It's just coming to go, whack him. Utterly, but he does whack him, it's it, right? But those ain't playing. Now, at the same time, there's nothing like it. That structure, that fucking love and canalismo from real ones, man, is something that every homeboy strives for. At the end of the day, that's what it's all about. You're not getting fed. Yeah, you're not doing all You're not getting none of that. You're lucky if you get a fucking sofa that you share with your celly. Plain and simple period, because we're always on lockdown at that time, right? That's all you got coming. You're love if it's chilly, so in the winter. That's what friends are for. And you were really winning on pow, 
boom, you were winning, right? But for the most part, man, hey, that right there, there was nothing compared to that, that love when you and your celly broke bread, homes. Hey, look, I got a soap by half for you and half for me. Or wait up a little bit more for me, dude, because I'm scandalous, right? Anyways, you guys broke bread. You guys ate together, man. You fought together. You fucking bled together. You died together. That's what it was. Uh, and that was the true meaning of Norte to me. When it started to not become that way for me, and I'm not saying for everybody, for me, I started to realize, nah, Charlie Street, right? Something ain't right. Something just definitely ain't right right here, right? And uh, and I started to take two steps back, but with that but very smoothly because I, got, I don't like nags in me, right? So I started to take them very smoothly, and I started to see for what it was, man. And I started to see that I wasn't disillusioned by the cause or by what fucking was going on. I was disillusioned by a few crude, fucking rude individuals that just were all about themselves. You know, and, and it's, it's unfortunate. It's unfortunate. You know, and the same thing happens with a lot of other carros. Not just the North, but I can only speak on that because that's what I was part of. You know, I wasn't no skinhead. I wasn't no South Side, right? It was, definitely wasn't no battle. Arr. I, I had nothing to do with what everyone else had going on. Speaking of the white guys. I had nothing to do with what was going on and the Africano brothers. Um, but at the same time, I could see also from a distance, you know, uh, things changing. Things change in life. Eras change. People change. Things change. The whole goals change, right? And it seemed like it, it no longer became about the fight of oppression and the fight for fucking social status of equality and the fight for justice for our head and the fight for the establishment of Yarda so that we are safely secure and, and able to lay our heads. Lay your head on my pillow. It wasn't even, fuck, you can't even lay down. Your mattress is rolled all fucking day, right? It wasn't even about that anymore. It now become about selfish, greedy intentions on certain individuals. Certain year. And it wasn't like this everywhere, man. You could hit a Yarda and it's lovely day, lovely day. What it is? Holiday, right? Paris holiday. Lovely, do your time, it's on a cracking, you get out, you're active as fuck, and you function, and you're telling homeboys, oh, I was fucking lovely, and there was hella canals, hey, hella brothers, man, it was just fucking, it was smooth criminal, dun, 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 like fucking Michael before he was a weirdo, right? There was a lot going on, and 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 it just was cool. Or you could be on a yard and fucking suits go, <laughs> freezing your ass off, the struggle is real, and I meet guys everywhere, right? And you're like, damn, mister, I'm sorry, so sorry, you know what I mean? You're going aboard like, hey, please let me out, guards. Right? You just never know. At the end of the day, it's the character of a man, the makeup, what's in your DNA, what cloth are you cut from? Still sharp and still, man. Over here, man, we're not born like blankets, we're born like rocks, right? Hard, pierda, clavo, you know, call it what you want to. Um, that's what it's all about. But at the same time, uh, everyone's not gonna have that same path in life. Everyone's not gonna, you know, uh, adhere to certain things. Everyone's not going to rock the same fucking way. So like, I don't know why they did. Hey, do you know why the homeboy didn't come back from medical? Because he's a puto. Straight up. You know what I mean? Well, it's okay, but hey, so where did they put him, man? Did they put him with all the other homeboys that were busting a spread on the yada? Yeah. Hey, guard, can I get a medication slip? Right. Well, those were different. Hey, they got so fucking brave. You seen the writing on the wall before it was there. Hey, guard. Hey, yeah, guard. Here, take that, right? Fool's kicking out wheelhouse under the door. Take that. Hey, bro, what'd you just kick out to him? I wasn't kicking nothing. I was just doing leg stretches. That's because we got 122 to do right here in about five minutes. You know what I mean? Back wild. You know what I mean? Hey, come on, man. It started to become worse and worse and worse. And I became disillusioned. I remember the day when in my mind, I finally said, man, enough is enough. You know, shit's going to have to change. And that was the day that I walked out there to that yard and, and got at the homeboys like, hey, motherfuckers got to stop doing this dope. Motherfuckers got to stop doing this. People got to stop doing that. And I was told, mind your own business before your own remind you. You know what I mean? And we know how that turned out eventually. That's part of the game, huh? You know? People are saying, gun, you, you just hate it. You still want to be part of the mix. Bro, I can be part of whatever I want to be part of. I'm part of where I am now. Life, you know? And the and the beat goes on. The life goes on. And that's just how it's always going to be with me. Um, I'm never going to forgive or forget what was going on in my life. But at the same time, man, I'm not fucking a babos or a bofo enough to realize um, that I'm not in the position I'm in because fucking life deemed it that way. So I just get everything always works out how it works out. Rock a bye, baby. You know what I mean? And that's just what it'd be like. Anyways, with that being said, I hope that you move smooth with a purpose. I hope that you get everything that you want coming to you. Remember at the end of the day, it's all about struggling and striving for you and yours and what you truly believe in, man. Nobody could poison you unless you allowed yourself to and take that poison, you know? So I hey, just hit me with something. I think you poisoned me. Charlie Holmes, your arm was all out there for him to hit him, hit you with it. Don't act like a Bible. So with that being said, please hit that like and subscribe. Man, I highly appreciate you if you do. If not, you get it that thumbs down and I don't highly appreciate you. You know what I mean? But I mean, you're still here, right? That kid, you're human. So we all got to get along, right? 
Heavy is the head that wears the crown. I'm going to continue to clown. I'm going to continue to do what I does, man. That is bring all the people together for unity. I'm going to do it by comedy. I'm going to do it by any pinchy means necessary. Orally Malcolm. And that's how we're going to push the gun. Bang, bang. And in that fashion.